and the Minister of Trade and Industry, Ecos Pio Gabra, has attributed the close down of the sugar factory to lack of power supply from the Electricity Company of Ghana. According to the minister, modalities have been worked out to ensure that the factory gets consistent power supply from the national grid. The Commander Sugar Factory was commissioned by President John Mahama on May 30. The factory is reported to have been shut down. There has been several speculations over the reasons for the shutdown barely a week after its commissioning. At the launch of the ECOWAS Industrial Summit, the sector minister, Ecos Gabra, attributed a shutdown to lack of electricity supply from ECG to the factory. Almost all industry depends on power. So if you've heard about some difficulties with the Commander Sugar Factory, it's not about them closing down. The fact that they have had some difficulty with having access to direct power from the ECG. And I've been using some generators and transformers which don't give them all the power they need. So it is not a fault of the factory that they have that problem. It is just the challenge we have in the power sector as a whole. But you know, factories are very unique because they must have consistent power. Meanwhile, presidential candidate of the Progressive People's Party, Dr. Parkwiti Indum, has lashed out at government for flouting basic entrepreneurial rules with the commissioning of the Commander Sugar Factory. Dr. Indum says borrowing at almost 100% total cost of running the factory to start a business expected to ruin in profits is illogical. Commissioning of the Commander Sugar Factory barely a week ago has met stiff opposition from the MPP and other civil society organizations. But the Progressive People's Party is of the view government undertook a wrong venture. There are some things you don't do. Other things, yes, you must do. So you don't go and borrow almost 100% of the money you need to start a factory. You don't do that. You must have your own equity, your own money, a little bit to put there, so you know you are in there. Dr. Parkwesi Indum, pushed by journalists on what he and the PPP will do differently in revamping the factory, failed to answer. He, however, responded to allegations he had illegally acquired land belonging to the factory. The fact of the matter is that some of the lands that individuals used for planting sugarcane, cultivating sugarcane, they have sold them to different pe people and, and there are houses there. And I myself have also gone and bought 100 acres of land. It doesn't belong to government of Ghana. That I prepared, that I would grow sugarcane there. 